Hi, in this video we're going to show you an upcoming feature in Windows that lets you create more than just zip files natively using the built-in Windows utility. Now when I say upcoming, uh, it's going to depend on when you're watching this video because right now I'm doing this on an Insider Edition computer so it's not in the retail version yet, but by the time you're watching this it might be an option for you. Alright, so normally when you create a zip file in Windows, let's say let's do all of these here. You right click and normally you go to send to compress zip file, but now we have an option compress to and we have zip file, seven zip file, tar file and additional options. So let's say we do a seven zip file. Okay, so it's a five megabyte file. And if we open it with 7-zip, you can see the files there. Okay, so now let's try the next option here, the tar file. We all know what a zip file is, so let's try this. So it gave it a different name, so it took the last file instead of the first file, like the 7-zip option. And this is only 19 megabytes, so it's not as good as the uh, 7 zip. And then, of course, we could do the zip file too, just for fun. And that's 9 megabytes, so it looks like the 7 zip file compressed the most. But if you go to the options here, so let's highlight them again and go to additional options, you could pick your format from here, and there's different TAR versions as well. And then you could also change the compression method depending on what you're on. And then you could change the compression level as well for faster or smaller file size. And then there's options here to retain symbolic links and retain hard links. So if we go with the zip file again, go to smaller, let's see what happens. Now you can see there's also an option for the path too. So let's just put this on the desktop for make it easy to find. Okay, so this time we have 9.39 compared to 9.6. So not much difference when we uh, change the options there. But at least you have that option. It might work better for some of the other ones here. Like let's try the seven zip, let's go even smaller. Okay, so this new seven zip file is three megabytes compared to the one that was 5.6, so that shrunk it down quite a bit there. All right, so as you can see, you're going to have some new compression options if you don't already. So next time you make a zip file, when you right click, if you have the compress to option rather than the send to compressed file option, you'll know that you have the update. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.